Hi, welcome back to Stampy's Random Reviews and Tutorials. If you've seen my videos before, you might realise I stripped this down a little while ago just to look at the um, actual ribbons. And I wanted to show you these ribbons, but this video is about what to do if you've got a noisy blower motor or maybe a smelly car. But I want to show you these ribbons while I'm in here because I know a lot of people have subscribed to the channel looking at the heated front screen. These are the ribbons that connect to the actual windscreen that make the heated windscreen work. So if you've got one that's not working, there's a couple of fuses in here. But these are the ribbons and nobody ever films this. But I just want to show you on the later models like a 17 plate focus. These are quite well out of the way on the earlier models. Apparently when the wiper arms moved they could get touched and broken. Anyway, two fuses in there, one for each side of the screen. But what I want to show you is I've had a noisy blower motor in here and I think it's something that I've made a mistake doing when I um, strip this down now. I'm just going to quickly show you what I mean before I get too far through this video, but you know when you get in your car and it's, you turn your blowers on and stuff? Well, I've got this working again now, it's all nice and smooth, but I had like a, like a really low rumbling noise and a clicking noise, it was kind of coming from behind the dashboard, and like when you turned it onto one, it kind of clicked and everything went off, and I've managed to get rid of it, so while I've got this stripped down, I want to show you how I managed to clear the blower motor out on this Ford Focus 17 plate without actually having to take any of these panels off and dive in underneath because this part's buried in this dashboard it's not intended to fail really so I'll show you how I did it what you need to do first of all and you need to just get a, a socket on here and I've got an impact tool to do this and what you need to do is just zip off the bolts wiggle the wiper blade trying not to move the position of this at all pull the wiper blades off and I've actually marked off on the window where they actually go back so you might not want to do it some people are a little bit scared of that but I don't think it's too hard as long as you keep them in the same place when you're wiggling to take them off you should be fine and I am getting to the point where I show you the blower motor so just bear with me underneath the actual wiper arm you've got these parts here this just sits across here and there's just like um, I think it's an, uh, an allen bolt or a torx bolt just goes in here it's nothing difficult to get off this whole part comes off and then you've got this part here and this just, again, this is just the underside of this here, and this just kind of sits underneath here. I can't remember which way around it goes, but again, it's just a couple of 10mm bolts, and you take it out. Now, the reason I'm showing you all this isn't to bore you. What I want to show you is something inside here. If you look in here, there's actually a hole in here, and I'm not sure if you can see, but I had a bit of tape in there, and I think it's from where... I've taken this off before and I've marked off the actual wiper blades. I think it had dropped down and unluckily for me, gone down into, into here. So I'm gonna try and light this up in a minute, but to the left hand side of here, if you've got an airline like I've got here, what you can do is push the airline in here without the mower, motor running, of course. I know I said mower then, so I've got a lawnmower channel called Repair Lawnmowers for Profit, but you get a light in here and you can blow the airline in here and it turns the fan and I could see there was pieces of tape stuck to the inner side of this blower fan. Now this blower fan actually probably looked like it was around about a foot wide and I got a price from Ford for a new one of these, it was £414. So I'd actually booked this in at my uh, local mechanic and luckily for me they are really really good at uh, North Yorkshire Motors and they'd agreed to have a look at it for me for an hour or so and see if they could do anything without actually replacing the motor so I'm not going to need them to do that so I fixed it so I'm going to light this up with a torch the best I can and film inside I've also taken some photographs I'll put on screen at some point in this video as well so let me grab a torch and we'll have a quick look inside here and I'll try and show you what I'm talking about but there's not many people film things like this because when you're doing something like this it's it's not the nicest thing to do is it you can see there there's like a little bit of polish in there just kind of dropped in and stuff but um, I just want to try and light up in here and I want to try and get my video camera in and what I'm trying to show you is it's really awkward really hard to film let's have a look where are we yeah so down in here I can light this part up in here you can hopefully really hoping you can see just about see there's a fan to the left hand side of this here let's try and get this top right here I'd really like to light this up for you really well if I could uh, you just can't see it but there's a, there's a fan in there the blower fan and you can get to it and what you've got to do is get your airline in and just poke it in and, and it'll actually move manually move the blower fan round and you can see if there's anything in there and I had a piece of tape stuck in there so I just blew around and eventually 
I managed to blow the tape out and it came out of this vent and I've got rid of it and everything sounds great again. There we go. So you can see in there, if I zoom in here, you see the fan over to the left hand side. It's like, um, looks like kind of the inside of a washing machine drum with fins on. I'm trying to describe it before my torch runs out of batteries. That, if you get your airline on it, will move around. You can't reach it with your hand. You don't particularly want to poke it with anything, but you can spin that around using an airline. And I found that there was a piece of tape stuck on mine, which is kind of about this point here. That's where the fan is. You want to get your airline on this and push it around with the air. I had a piece of tape on there and eventually by blowing it all around, I managed to get this piece of tape out because getting that fan out from inside and taking all the dashboard apart is going to be a real pain of a job. So that's how I did it. And I'll quickly film how to put all this back together for you so you kind of understand the process of taking it all off. So it's my fault for marking off when, when I did this heated front screen repair. I marked the windscreen off like I've done this and I think it's dropped back in, the tape's dropped back in. I think the reason the tape's dropped back in is because um, I've lost one of these clips. When I took this off before, I lost the clip in the garage. I didn't realise, but um, when I put it back last time, I realised the clip wasn't there. So I kind of just pushed it down. It didn't seem to move very much. But I think because it's got a gap in, it's sucked, somehow sucked the tape through here. I don't know, I'm guessing. And I think it sucked it into the uh, the blower. So if you've got a noisy blower fan, this video hopefully will help you out. And just not in the process of boring anyone to death, but I want to show you exactly where this is. It's inside here. Once again, from your car. Because it's awkward, isn't it, when you're trying to get some information and you're scouring through forums and everything. It's, it's in here. You want to be down the left-hand side of that. Right, so just to help a few people out, show them how I've got this apart, I'm going to show you. So put it back together, so it's obviously the same thing in reverse. So I've just put this black plastic part on here, I made the clips off correctly under here. You've got to get this part here lined up, and this little hole here lined up before you do anything. Make sure it's nice and even. I'm going to quickly show you why my heat front screen do not work. I'll leave a card in the top right hand corner, and the link to the video in the description as well. But basically these connectors up here weren't connecting properly so half of the screen weren't working nothing to do with the ribbons, nothing to do with the fuses if you want to watch that video there's a link in the description but I'm going to carry on with this and I think I remember rightly I've put these two tens in here I'm just going to get that one in there and this in here and every time I do this I'm going to go back in the car and start it up and make sure I've still not got any uh, any noises blowing around this fan just in different stages so I'm going to zip this up um, grab it I'll tighten that one up. That's on. Make sure I can still get access to this. This screw holes here. That's all right. Right, so I'm going to get back in the car. I'm going to try it and just make sure there's no noise at each stage. So, just checking this. This obviously sounds fine. Quite happy with that. Everything's working. Changing about doing everything it should so I'm happy with that before it was like a low rumbling noise it was like a subwoofer it was almost like you've got um, like a blown back box on a car you know and you used to get the exhaust used to get holes in it years ago and stuff and it, really, it was really noticeable and really annoying when you turned it off it clicked like this clicked here and there's none of that now so I'm happy that that's okay so I'm going to put the next part back on right so next up is this one here I'm going to get this this went on this has to go on before the wipers, let's just try and work out which way it went. Oh, I'm making a mess of this. So, I'm going to clean this off first actually. You see this seal along here? I'm going to clean all that off. I've already cleaned this off along the actual windscreen, but I'm going to clean this off as well. Make sure all this edge down here, I'm trying to show you this, this edge down here is nice and clean. So, when you put it back on, it all clicks around here nice and you've not got any leaks or anything. So, make sure it's all clean. Right, so I've got my camera on a tripod, cleaned all this off, and um, I'm going to put this part back on. So, I'm going to make sure I try and get it the right way around. Let's have a look at this. It's in there. That goes over there. I think that's right. Yeah, you've got to make sure that this plastic trim here sits really neatly against this window here. Oh, you're going to get, kind of get leaks. So, 
spend a little bit of time making sure that I get this back in. You might, I mean, I'm no mechanic at all, but, but if you, you know, if you're wondering if you could do this job, you can. It's not too difficult, really. It's only kind of four bolts, and then um, that's it, really. You've got to get the wipers off, which is a bit of a scary thing. But as long as you don't try and do them with a spanner and like move everything as you're undoing it, the idea is if you zip them off with an impact tool, then nothing moves because it's the speed of the actual nut coming off it means that this part doesn't move. So I'm going to spend a minute just making sure that's nice and tight. You've also got to put these little trim clips on here. These pop up actually. These go, there's a few, there's four I think that go across the top of here. What you need to do with these is just pop them up with a screwdriver. Just get your little screwdriver in and just flick it up from underneath and it pulls this up. It means you've got enough kind of leverage to spring these back, push it all back through, then you just push the top back down. You must do that otherwise you're going to get gaps in this underneath here. And you're going to get something sucked in it like I did. So next there's two of these, I think the Torx ones, I'm going to put these back in here. Line these up, and once you've done this, all you've got to do is put the wiper arms back on. And while I'm here, I'll show you how to do that as well. So, I'm going to tighten that up. I'm just going to get that started. I'm going to nip around the other side, come back, and tighten that one up when I've got the other screw in. So, that other side's in and tight, so I'm just going to tighten this one up. And then I've got these two parts back on. You've got the four plastic clips that hold the trim. And this part in underneath here, and you've got these two at this side. We've just got these wiper arms to bolt back on and make sure they work right. And then we'll test this fan again, and that should be job done, which is great because it saved me a massive amount of money. Right, grab my wiper arm. This is the left one, put it on the left hand side of my bench so I didn't get anything messed up. I'm going to grab this, just back on this and try and put this back over the top of here. I'm pretty sure that this top one. I'm going to line it up with these bits of tape, which I'll show you in a minute. I'm just trying to push it on around there, like that. I'm going to line it up with the bits of tape. Then there's a washer and a nut. And then I'm going to tighten that up in a second. There's a plastic cap that goes on as well. This is why, I'm not sure how much you can see on the camera, you can just see I marked all this up with tape, so when I drop these on, I've got a good idea of whereabouts to worm, and we'll test this all in a minute and I'll show you it works all right. One thing I was mentioning earlier is when you take these off, if you've got like an impact like this, it zips it off really fast, then you're not chancing this whole part moving around. It's on little notches, this, it needs to be back in pretty much the same position. If you're trying to do it manually with a, a spanner, you're probably not going to do it. So I want to tighten that back up. Let me get my hand on there. I'm going to tighten that back up. I'm going to go around the other side, do exactly the same thing as the other side, and then we'll test these wipers. Right, so I won't going to film this, but while I'm here, I might as well, I suppose. So, there's little kind of little notches where this all lines on here. If you ever re replace like a tap inside it, where you can drop it on in different positions, that's kind of what I'm talking about. So, oh, these little marks, I'm just going to clean these off here. And I'm going to drop this one on here. I'm going to kind of put it in position somewhere near first and we're going to push this on like that. I don't think that's too far out so we'll try that I don't think these have moved much really so it shouldn't be too much of a problem so let me find my parts in my pocket I've got the washer and this nut here that on there and again I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to hold the wiper arm I'm going to tighten that up and then I'm going to drop the bonnet down make sure I've not left anything in here There's a couple of other parts just to put on I'm just going to put these parts on here these just sit back on here like this back on there Right, to test this, what I'm going to do is close the bonnet because I don't want this going up and down. The uh, wiper arm's going up and down with the bonnet up, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this plastic cap back on here and trust that I've done it right. I'm going to drop the bonnet down. I'm going to quickly look around, make sure I've not left anything in here. And I'm not going to take the tape off the windscreen because if this isn't correct, I've still got that guide 
I can go back to. So I'm happy that everything's kind of clipped up like it should be. I'll drop that back down. Let's try these wipers. This one needs to go down quite a bit, so I'm going to drop that down a little bit. And uh, I could have edited this bit out of the video, but I'm not going to because these these are the things that happen out there. If you want to fix this, you're probably going to have the same sort of situation that I've got. So I'll film this and I'll take the time to put it right on camera so you can see that I've actually done it myself. So I can show you how to get these off now. I've uh, kind of made a mess of putting them back on. You've got to try and wriggle them about a little bit so they pop off. Just kind of wriggle them up and down without moving the whole thing very much. And eventually they'll come off like that. So I'm going to have a go again at putting this back on a little bit lower down. Problem is with them is the bend as well. You're working against the spring tension. So I'm going to do it this time a little bit lower down. Put the washer on. Apologies if you can't see well, but obviously I want to get this job done. Let's just do that. Zip it up again. Let's give this another try. Well, a bit of a scary moment really, wasn't it? Right. Try this again. Good when you're doing it live because you never know what's going to go wrong really, do you? Right. So maybe once moving down a little bit, you can see it still does that. It's always had this little thing where it just kind of catches at the bottom and goes down a little bit further like it did then. So I'm going to move that down a little bit more. I'm going to leave that and I just want to show you that the fan's all working again as well. Right, so turn it to a bit of a lengthy video on it. I know I'm only going to show you something that, that works right, but I just want to make sure that it sounds okay. No ticking noises coming through the vents, nothing from behind the dash. And I'm really happy with that, so... I'm hoping that if you've got a blower motor that makes loads of noise, I've saved you ripping all your glove box out. If you've ever seen a video on trying to get a glove box out, one of these... Wow, I mean, the blower you virtually just cannot get out. Don't try and do it yourself, would be my advice. But hopefully, I've helped you just see these wipers again now watch yeah that's okay um i will move that actually just a little bit further down but uh, hopefully i've helped you not have to try and strip your part, car apart from the inside which is kind of worse than doing it from the outside so over the last month or so i've managed to fix the heaty front screen by making sure this was connected properly showing you where the fuses were said so there's a video in the description for that i've also managed to mess my own blower motor up which i don't think i'll be the first person to have a bad blower motor go on one of these 17 plate i think it's a mark 3 focus so if i've helped you out please do me a massive favor and just leave me a comment in the comment section I'm not bothered if you subscribe to be honest but leave me a comment and just um, let me know your thoughts even if you think I've made a mess of it because I'm happy with what I've done I've got a working heated front screen I've got a working blowers I've got these wipers back on here and it all looks pretty good thanks for watching I really appreciate it